Man's capacity to forgive is quite puzzling to me. You know, it's it's very necessary that we forgive. I don't care what background you come from, what you subscribe to, what you believe in. Everyone talks about forgiveness, don't they? And it's necessary. I don't dispute that. Forgiveness is being able to let go of something, freeing the other person from possible repercussion from you. That doesn't mean you don't let the law uh, take its course and uh, handle the matter if it's something of a criminal nature. But uh, it does mean that you uh, allow yourself to release something to set yourself and the other person free. Um, and this is a very hard thing for a lot of people to swallow. But um, it is necessary. You know, there is a lot of truth to that. And there's a lot, there's, there's many different uh, definitions to forgiveness. And a lot of people have problems with it. You know, they, they say, well, I can forgive, but I can't forget. Well, I mean, I don't think anybody forgets. And I don't see anywhere that you need to. But forgiveness is, uh, is quite necessary in a lot of cases. I, I do think there are some things in this world that you just can't forgive. You know, some things are so abominable, so heinous, so criminal, so violating that I don't think the human heart has the capacity to forgive. But what's strange is what it does forgive. You know, I've seen people violated in the most egregious ways. Things that personally strike at them uh, and, um, and rip families apart. Rip marriages apart. <clears throat> Rip entire lives apart. And yet people are still able to forgive these things. And yet these same people oftentimes cannot forgive the smallest things. You know, you know rumors spoken against them. You know, um, arguments that are held. Disagreements, squabbles. You know, personal jabs. These are the things that people have a very difficult time forgiving. Isn't that strange? And I think the, I think what is going on here in a lot of cases is that when something is so, when something so mightily prevails against the life of an individual or a group of people, uh, people are, are, are shocked. They are, they are panicked. And they, they are struggling for a way to survive. So they feel like they need to do something. They can either let it swallow them up or they can forgive it. Right? And for life to go on, in many cases, it's absolutely necessary. And so, so I think it's wise. But I also do believe that the reason some people can forgive the really big things so easily is because part of it is vanity. You see... We feel good when we see that we've done something deemed so virtuous, right? You know, look what I've done. Now, you may not say that. You may not necessarily think it. But even I've done it. Even I've forgiven great big things because it made me feel good about myself. You know, I thought this is the right thing to do. I just forgave this person. And it was a pretty big deal. I'm a pretty strong person. Now, I'm not saying it's that I'm not saying that's the case every time, but I do believe it becomes a factor in some cases, in many cases. But what's what's different is that people cannot forgive the very small things, the things that are spoken against them, the squabbles that they have, the insults that are hurled, the jabs that are taken. And this is why you need to be careful. This is why we need to be very prudent. You need to know who you're dealing with. You need to be careful of what you say, how you say it. And you might think to yourself, Man, Greg, that's an awful lot to think about. I don't know if I want to give it that much thought. Well, it is hard. It is hard. It becomes laborious, you know, when you, when you have to take into account everything when you're dealing with another person, when you got everything else on your plate in this life, Right? But I, I do have I do have a response to that. I do have a response to that. But let me get this out of the way first. Hear me out. You do need to be careful about who you are dealing with. If 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 
if it becomes too high maintenance, you might want to distance yourself. You know, you might want to decide that you're not going to have that kind of contact with this individual or these people or this group of people. Okay? That you're not going to have certain conversations. That you're just not going to say certain things. And you're not even going to do it behind their back. Okay? Uh, and and you, just, you just have to be really careful about how you talk, how you, how you interrelate with others, and even how you do it behind their back. In Ecclesiastes chapter 10, verse 20, King Solomon, the wisest man who ever lived, had this to say. He said, Curse not the king, no, not in thy thought, and curse not the rich in thy bedchamber, for a bird of the air shall carry the voice, and that which hath wings shall tell the matter. It's often thought that this verse right here, this part of scripture right here, is, is where we get the saying, a little bird, a little birdie told me. I don't know if it's true. I guess it could be, sayings could be a, a traced back to a lot of different origins, but this is one of them. Your words have wings. Now, I know in this, in this verse it's talking about a king and it's talking about rich people because you've got to be careful about who you cut yourself off from if you talk behind their back in a negative way. And that's because they have a hold of high station in life. And there's a certain amount of vanity and pride that go along with that and some power that they know they can wield or that they can hold back. But you know, they're not the only ones. There's many people in our life that are no different. We can benefit by people from all different walks of life. Even people that you don't like. You know, that's the only reason you would talk that way anyway. So you have to be careful about how you speak of others, even in private settings, even in the quiet places. That's right. That's very important to do. And you might think, well, this is hard. Are you saying that I can't trust the person I'm talking to? Well, that's another thing you have to consider. It's another thing you really have to consider. People have a hard time keeping secrets. They really do. They have a hard time keeping things themselves. They're, they're no different than you and I, right? When we hear something juicy, it's why we call it juicy gossip. When we hear, I guess they call it tea, you know? Um, which is really weird to me. But, um, but uh, when we hear something juicy, we want to pass it on. It's really hard to keep it to ourselves. And so that's why you have to be cautious. And so the important thing to do, I believe, is to have some kind of a code you live by to remember. You might think, well, I don't want to have to think about this person all the time. Well, um, you know, what you do is you just give yourself a code, a creed to live by. Live by that and you shouldn't have any problem. You know, things like do unto others as you'd have them do unto you, right? That's a good one to live by. If you always do that, well, then it pretty much covers all the bases. Here's another one I like a lot. The Apostle Paul had written to the Christians in Philippi, and this is just one of the many things he said. Now, listen up carefully. Live by this, and I think that you'll, that you'll, uh, you will not have to worry about putting yourself in harm's way. Now, keep in mind that uh, you're, you'll not always be able to avoid uh, offense, but uh, this is a great way to live right here. He said, finally, brethren, whatsoever things are true, whatsoever things are honest, whatsoever things are just, whatsoever things are pure, whatsoever things are lovely, whatsoever things are of a good report, if there be any virtue, if there be any praise, think on these things. Why do you need to think on these things? Because those are, things that, those are the things that you're going to say. Those are the things that are going to emanate from your mouth. And so if you focus on the things that are true, the things that are honest, the things that are pure, lovely, things that are of a good report, if you can find any virtue, any praise, those are the things that you think about. Those are the things that you do. You know, if you're going to talk about others, if you're going to communicate with others, if you're going to converse, if you're going to, you know, carry on with others, make sure you keep these things in mind and your relationships will bode well. 
like I said, you won't be able to avoid every offense. But this is a great way to start. And uh, because, like I said, man has a strange capacity for forgiveness. He can forgive monstrosities. He can forgive great offenses, but not the little ones. He has a difficult time with that. We all do, right? Just remember, just remember that. It'll make a huge difference. Guys, I hope this has meant something to you. I hope it, uh, I hope it resonates. If it has, please share this with somebody else. If you liked it, hit the like button and subscribe if you haven't done so already. Consider donating to this channel. And um, I just want to take just a moment, just one moment, to thank one individual who wants to remain unnamed, and I will respect that, but he donated to me just here in the very recent past, and he was very gracious, very generous, and uh, I just want to at least publicly thank him. You know who you are, and uh, I'm ever so grateful. So, guys, I hope you have a great day. Be wise.